D.C. high schooler is getting international attention for his activism. 17-year-old Jerome Foster II has held a climate strike in front of the White House for 57 weeks in a row. And after more than a year, he has no plans on stopping now. This is not just a movement for young people. This is for everyone because we need everyone to take climate action seriously. Thank you. 17-year-old Washington Leadership Academy senior Jerome Foster II stands alone holding his weekly White House climate strike. He's done it 57 weeks in a row. I think it's practical if we have political courage. Sometimes he's approached by skeptics. Other times he's surrounded by supporters and eventually joined by fellow climate justice activists. Thank you for coming. <laughs> Jerome's passion for climate activism is beginning to garner national attention. Popular environmental activist Greta Thunberg recently reached out to him directly. After discovering Jerome, actress Jane Fonda asked him to join her during her climate protests, which Forbes later found out about. It's just been a really crazy experience because Greta has like breathed new life into like the environmental movement. Greta has inspired masses of young people to fight for the environment, transforming what was once a fringe movement into a hot new trend for Gen Z. A new Washington Post Kaiser Family Foundation poll found a solid majority of American teenagers are convinced humans are changing the Earth's climate and believe it will harm them personally. Roughly one in four have participated in what the Post says is a remarkable level of activism for a group that has not yet reached voting age. Well, I think actually he is like being so brave for being here in front of the White House, like defending the situation. Jerome, who was intern for Congressman John Lewis, founded a youth voting organization and took summer courses at Harvard, is a tireless foot soldier for the cause. What do we want? When do we want it? But it's his generation that's taking environmentalism a step farther. Out of fear, theirs may be the last that can save planet Earth from its inhabitants. We understood the crisis and we educated ourselves when we were younger. And we're saying adults aren't taking the action, so we're going to have to step up and we're going to have to start championing these issues. And if we have to sacrifice our education, sacrifice our time, we're going to have to do that. So it's Friday, so this afternoon will be week 58, and Jerome says he's going to continue his climate strikes even as he goes off to college. Really interesting, yeah, this yeah. generation, yeah. right? Red package, yeah. yeah. They're being uh, referred to that generation as Generation Green more than just words. Okay. They're putting an action behind it to mm -hmm. do something.